Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name's Chloe. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, everything that I bought when I went to Birmingham. So this is a shopping haul. If you are interested, um, I have filmed a video for this look. Um, it will either be up before or after, depends which one I edit and want to upload first. If you would like to know any products that I've used on my face today, please go to the description box where I've uh, just listed everything. Um, I'll also put my social media handle down there as well, which is the same as my YouTube, Chloe KH with two E's. Um, but yeah, I will put that down below for you as you can find me on TikTok, Twitter and Instagram if you would like to see more of me. So I did go to a few shops um, in Birmingham. Um, I mostly hit Primark Hard. That was the one that I really wanted to go in on as I didn't really get to shop the way I wanted to when I was in Cardiff um, with Jake and his family as, you know, that they were waiting outside and I didn't want to just be too long. Um, so I only really sort of grabbed a few things. But, you know, on Tuesday when I went to Birmingham with Jake, I just really took my time went through every square inch of the building um, to make sure that I just, you know, I wanted to find um, some bits that I had seen on different Primark hauls. Um, a lot of things went in my size, so I was a bit gutted about that, but um, I am really happy with what I got, so let's get started. So, if you would have seen my um, previous haul video where I showed you the um, knitted two-piece. I did mention that I had bought the cargo skirt that I saw in Jordan Lipscomb's video. Really, really wanted it. Um, I just sort of guessed my size and of course it wasn't right so I had to um, return it at my local Primark. But they did have um, another one in um, Birmingham. It was Jake that actually spotted this. I was gutted because um, I saw you know, when people are just shopping in, in Primark, they just throw things everywhere and I just thought, oh my god, where is this skirt? Um, but Jake saw the stand and I immediately went over and I got it. Um, so I got this in a size 10, just so it could get around my hips. Um, as I do have quite big hips but a small waist. Um, and it, it, you know, it does fit perfectly because it's got the little toggle. Um, so it glides on over my hips nicely and I can just use the toggle to adjust it and tighten it um, for around my smaller waist. Um, I love this skirt, it's so, so nice. I haven't worn it out yet, but I tried it on it as soon as I got in and I I just love it. It's just going to be such a staple for me um, to wear with, you know, like t-shirts and like trainers and things like that. You know, I saw... Um, the children got the matching top. It wasn't in my size, unfortunately. They only had the bigger sizes. Um, but there's other things that I can sort of pair this with, so I'm really, really happy that I've got the right size in this skirt. Okay, so next I've got some dresses. Um, I sort of always tend to have a little mini freak out when I know that I'm going out, as I hate my body shape. I hate the way I look in most clothing. Um, I can always do my makeup exactly how I want it, you know, um, my hair, I just sort of straighten or curl it, um, but it's really my outfit that it comes down to that I stress over the most. So I did see on some sort of um, Primark haul TikToks and YouTube videos that they've got quite a nice party selection. Um, so I picked up this pink uh, satin dress. It cuts off um, just before the ankles. It's a very, very flattering. Um, I love this. It was only £15. Um, the skirt, I think, was 12 or 14 um, But uh, this is just wonderful. And I actually do really like it on myself as well. Um, you know, I do love the colour pink and it's just such a gorgeous, soft, flowy, just wonderful fabric. It really does remind me of the SLA dresses. Um, of course, I would love to buy one of those, but they, you know, SLA, she has got quite expensive items on there. Um, her dresses, I think they are like 50 plus pounds. I don't have that kind of money to spend on one item. Um, so I'm just really happy that I got this sort of dupe, I guess, for it. Um, it was only £15. And I did get it in the blue as well. 
um, I love this, I just feel like a modern day Cinderella in this dress, it's just so, so pretty, so flattering, um, the same sort of style, cuts off just before the ankle, again £15, and I just feel confident in it, um, you know, I, I went out with Jake and his friends on Saturday, I didn't like my outfit, didn't like the way that I looked in it, you know, I saw a photo on, you know, they do like the, the photos within the bars and they put them on Facebook, I saw a photo of myself and I just didn't like the way I looked, um, but this, just putting this on and I just felt so confident and, you know, Jake was stood there and he said that how pretty I looked in it and yeah so I can't wait to wear these dresses I'm hoping to wear one of them for New Year's um I don't quite know what we're doing yet we are going away somewhere it is part of my Christmas surprise um so I'll be finding out on Christmas day and I've got that little outfit in mind um you know just to see what we are doing so to match the dress I've got this cute little bow bag um, they do the bow shoes as well, unfortunately they didn't have my size in the blue or the pink, um, so I was absolutely gutted but I managed to grab the bag. So this one was £9, absolute steal, it's just so pretty. Um, I am going to have to buy the pink one, I was umming and eyeing about whether to buy it or not, it had a teeny little snag on it so I thought no, no, I'm not going to buy it, I'm just going to buy the blue one, but just... I, I do want the pink one as well, so I do hope that it comes from my local Primark as I will be scooping this up. Then I didn't have my size in either of the um, bow shoes that I really wanted, but I did find these black ones with the peep toe. Um, so the bow shoes that everybody is raving about, they have a, a point to them. Um, and closed toe but I saw these ones you know I have very small feet in my size three and I just think that they are absolutely stunning I mean they are very high um, and my feet do feel like this in them so it's a case of having to get drunk to get through the pain of these definitely but you know pain is beauty and I do think that they you know they, they would go quite well because you've still got the silver bow um, I couldn't see the black one there, but I do really want to get the black one as well. Um, I'm just absolutely obsessed with this collection. It's Paula, I can't quite say the surname, but stunning collection at Primark. Um, I just hope that the shoes and the bags come to my local Primark in Hereford. Um, with those slip dresses, I do think that they have a black one. I have seen that on a haul somewhere. Um, so I'm holding out for the black one as well because that's just a cute little like black dress. So the shoes were 15. And to be fair, I've seen these shoes on like public design and things like that for 25, 35 pounds. So that's of course an absolute steal for Primark. I also got one of these heatless curl sets. This is in like a Lilo and Stitch style um, print. But yeah, you put this sort of on top of your head like that. You've come to the little clip that you clip in place here. And then you plait your hair around it. And then you've got the little um, bobbles to sort of tie it to the bottom. I've seen so many people use this and their hair just looks perfect. And I thought, well, you know, I don't do much with my hair. Um, you know, I bought those pieces from Lillabelle's. I do really like the scrunchie. Um, I haven't figured out how to use the ponytail yet, but, you know, I do really want to give this a go and see what it's like for my hair. I mean, I have just had it done fresh for Christmas. Um, and I've had a little chop as well, chopped in some layers at the front. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see what, what this will do for my hair. Um, as, you know, it's just something really quick and easy. I don't have to do much for it and this was only £3.50 so yeah really happy with that can't wait to use it okay so I have been watching Jordan Lipscomb's um, Primark hauls and she absolutely raves about this contour stick it's foundation and contour stick and this one is chai um, I was searching for this and all I saw was the lighter shades at the top and then right at the bottom at the back of one of the makeup shelves I saw a few of these um, and I thought well you know I think 
she bought like five at once because she loves them so much. I thought, you know what, other people may have watched her video, I'm going to leave some for the other girls out there who want to try it, and I just picked up the one. This was only £2.50, and it's what I've got on my um, skin today. It's so soft and creamy, and it just blends out so nicely. It's a really nice, warm shade. I'm obsessed with it after one use. Um, Again, I hope that this comes to my local Primark because I will be picking up loads. I can see why um, Jordan picked up like five at once. So I have been searching for a Jeep for my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter because she is like 34 plus pounds. Um, I did spend the day searching in Boots and Superdrug for the e.l.f. version of it, but then I came across this one in Primark and um, I have seen Jordan use this as well. So this is the um, Flawless Glow um, Primer Foundation Hybrid and this one is in the lightest shade I believe, um, Buttermilk. I have used this, um, I do think that it's really really nice. Um, it is very much a dupe for the Flawless Filter so you know I will be uh, buying this one again. Um, I've only used it a couple of times and I really rate it. Um, it's very very nice. I think that the it's a little bit um, lighter than the Flawless Filter. I think that one's, um, if I just pick it up, so as you can see this one's got a bit more sort of golden colour to it um, and this one's it's sort of a lot paler, almost like like a pinky champagne-y kind of colour but it's, it's a lot lighter than the Flawless Filter and um, it still gives that really nice glow. I've used um, Amelia Olivia's trick as well where I've put a little bit of this on the back of my hand, I've put a little bit of the Vive Skin Dew, um, got my Made by Mitchell sponge and just sort of put it round um, the high points on my face and I love it for that as well. Um, this is only £5 five pounds so last few bits from Primark um again on Jordan Lipscomb's video I saw that she bought some sort of granddad trainers and I was obsessed um I could only see them in this color um so I bought um these ones these are sort of the white with the gray detail I think that she had the white with the black detail as well um, these were only £16 and they are so nice, they're so comfortable, so lightweight and they're just a really nice little chunky dad trainer. Um, yeah, I'm completely obsessed with these, they are just my new trainer that I'm just wearing everywhere. Um, I love them, I really really do and you know I hope that the other colour comes to my local Primark because I will be scooping these up. And um, I really wanted, I'm just taking them off my feet because I haven't stopped wearing them since I bought them. Um, I just really wanted some house slippers as my flat is very cold um, and I just wanted to be really cosy with my, you know, my dressing gown. Um, and I picked up these little booty slippers from Primark, I think these were £6. Um, they did have the ones that didn't have the back. Um, but I, I didn't really like that, I just wanted to wear sort of a little boot so I can sort of put them on the sofa and things like that as well. Um, and of course I got pink to match my dressing gown, so they've got the really nice sort of soft detail with the fur, which is almost, it's, it's really soft as well. Um, I'm just going to put these back on my feet. But these are so comfortable, they are slight, I mean, I am a size 3, um, so they are slightly bigger, um, but you know, I don't really want tight slippers anyway. They are so comfortable, they keep my feet really warm. Um, yeah, I just, I'm really digging Primark at the moment. I'm completely obsessed with them. Okay, so that was a, a bit of a haul from Primark. There were some pieces that I did really want to get um, that either weren't in my size or I didn't see them at all. Um, if anybody has seen Jordan Lipscomb's haul, she, uh, she had this sort of pink fleece that had like the mountain print at the bottom. I could only find that in sort of large, extra large sizes. And I'm absolutely gutted because it just looks like such a comfortable, cosy little fleece. Um, and I think I was about £18, she said in her video. But I'm absolutely gutted that I couldn't find that in my size. Um, I know in my What I Want For Christmas video I showed a sort of like a, a crop top and skirt which had the diamante detail. I know that Primark do a version of it, I couldn't see it in Birmingham so I'm really gutted that I couldn't pick up one of those because you know you can style them together, style them apart um, and especially with the cute little bow heels, oh it would have been such a cute outfit and a contender for New Year's. Um, so yeah really really gutted about that. 
Um, again, for the Primark Beauty, um, they do a dupe for the Bobbi Brown face base. Um, I have used that, so I did really want to do a comparison to see, you know, is it a dupe for it? Is it very similar? Um, and that wasn't there. I did scour the beauty department for it, but I couldn't see it there, so gutted about that. Um, of course, I wanted sort of the bag and more bow heels, and there was a coat that I almost bought. Um, it was in Jordan's video. It sort of has the fur detail with almost like leather look, um, and a long coat. I think it was £55. I tried it on, I loved it, but I just couldn't justify spending £55 on that coat, um, because, you know, I was, I was planning a major shopping day and I didn't want to carry around too much, um, so I am still thinking about that coat. Um, I do really want it, and... <sighs> fingers crossed it comes to my local Primark, I mean I'm just going to be religiously going in there to make sure that these um, items are in there because I do really want them. Um, but yeah, those are a few um, items I am gutted that I, I couldn't get um, on the day. But um, moving on, I have been searching for um, the perfect Christmas red lip. Um, every year I just love to wear red lip on Christmas, I just feel so... Christmassy. Um, so I, when we went into um, MAC in Cardiff um, with Jake's mum, she bought a liquid lipstick and she said she really liked the formula. It's nice and long lasting, comfortable. So I was having a look at their reds and I did really want to get um, Feel So Grand and Lady Be Good was the nude version. Um, I did want to pick up those but when I went into MAC, the staff completely ignored me in Selfridges. Um, I saw four members of staff, not one of them looked at me, smiled at me, said hello, asked me if I was okay, and I was there swatching these lipsticks, um, looking at Jake, saying, oh, would you like this one, would you like that one, waited for them to dry down and sort of have a look what the colour they looked like when they were dried down, um, and nobody said hello to me. Um, so I just thought, I don't really want to spend my money here, um, I'm going to keep looking and I was just, I don't know, I left self just feeling a bit, because mm, when I worked on a beauty counter I could kind of gauge when people wanted help and didn't, um, but I would always say hello to them, you know, some people would be like, oh, no I don't want your help, I'm just having a look, and I'd be like, absolutely, um, you know, grab me if you need me, but I was there, I made them know that I was there and I said hello to them. Um, which was very important and it just boiled my blood that nobody said hello to me, they're having their own little conversation behind me and I was literally just, you know, they could reach out and touch me with their arm, I was that close to them and they didn't acknowledge me at all. Um, so no, I didn't want to give them any commission, I know that sounds very harsh but no, um, I'd, I'd rather buy it online. Um, so, you know, I kept, I kept shopping and I came across the NYX counter in Boots and, you know, I've seen videos of people use this, what is this called, uh, the Shine Loud um, lip set, so you've got the um, sort of lipstick on the one end and then you've got this sort of like glossy top coat on the other side, I've seen so many people use these in TikTok videos and I just, uh, there's a video, um, on TikTok, Samantha Harvey, I think she's gone dark for Christmas and she just had this glossy red lip and I just thought, yes, that's what I want, like I usually go for quite a cherry red lip, like if you've seen my Christmasy videos that I've uploaded recently, I did the gold liner and very cherry red lip that I thought was a contender for Christmas and then as soon as I saw Samantha Harvey and that lip I thought, that is going to be my Christmas lip and this is fantastic. Um, I did swatch a couple of shades and Jake preferred the darker red rather than the cherry red. I always gravitate towards the cherry red, I just think that it works with my complexion a bit more but um, Jake really liked this, this um, colour so I picked this one up and uh, when I got in I put it on my lips, um, I put the little gloss on top and it did not budge it didn't budge at all. Um, the gloss part will obviously come off, like I sort of um, wiped that off a little bit because I was going to eat. Um, but yeah, I had um, a hot chocolate with Baileys, I had two Krispy Kreme donuts, um, and I was of course, you know, licking my lips. Um, and I had some like snacky bits as well, like some um, crisps and things like that. 
and this did not budge so this is for sure going to be my Christmas lip I think this was £12 um, in boots but yeah I am definitely going to be picking up some more shades of this because I'm obsessed um, I cannot wait to wear it for Christmas. Okay, so I didn't get to go to Lush in Cardiff. I was a little bit gutted. Um, but I knew that I wanted to go um, Birmingham. And I had five pots. So you can... Um, so the little pots like this. Um, if you keep them and if you clean them and keep the lids and everything. And you bring five back to your local Lush shop. You can either get a free face mask or you can get 50p off your shop. I of course went for a face mask um, and I picked up the BB Seaweed. Um, so these are really fresh, you keep these in the fridge. Um, I wasn't quite sure which which one to get as I've tried Cupcake and I've tried um, Cosmetic Warrior which is the garlicky one for sort of spots but I didn't really want either of those face masks, I really wanted a nice hydrating mask. Um, and. The one time that I wanted a Lush employee to come up to me and, and talk to me about the products, they didn't. Um, I just feel like whenever you go into a Lush shop, you've literally got people stood around the room and you pass each one and they're just like, hello, you know, um, they just, they're on you. And I didn't get that when I really wanted somebody to talk to me about the face masks. Um, but I saw this one and all the ingredients and I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to try this one. Um, and this is what it looks like, it um, almost looks like porridge in here, um, but it smells so nice, it has got um, rosemary oil, it's got seaweed and it's got honey and aloe vera, um, so I just thought this one is going to be really nice and nourishing and hydrating for my skin, so I can't wait to use it. Jake is going out with his friends tonight for a few Christmas drinks and I'm going to slather this on my face and watch Emily in Paris um, with a Baileys and I cannot wait. <laughs> of course I cannot go into a Lush shop and not walk away with some Snow Fairy um, so I picked up this little one here. I of course do have the big kilogram bottle that I'm only about this much um, through but I wear Snow Fairy all year round. I always like to have um, the shower gel there I don't like to just use it at Christmas um so that big kilogram bottle will last me for months but I just wanted to pick up one just in case I get through it too quickly and I haven't got any left between that time and Christmas um so yeah I've picked up this guy to sort of be my little backup I like to have a backup of something um Snow Fairy is my absolute favorite scent you know my sister said that it's just me um you know, she associates that smell with me, which is really sweet, um, because it's a really nice sort of pear drop sweet scent, um, and I just, I just adore it. Um, so yeah, I had to pick up one of these. I did want to have a look at the Elf Shake, um, shower gel. Um, it's bright green and it's supposed to smell like sour sweets, and I just thought, oh, Jake might like that, um, as he goes through shower gel so quickly because um, he has to shower constantly with working in a metal factory. Um, so I had a look, um, he smelled it, I smelled it. It, it. You could smell like a sour smell to it, but he was like, no, no, it's fine, no, you know, don't get me that. Um, um, so I didn't, but it does smell very nice and I almost picked it up. Um, and of course I went over to the Snow Fairy bit and I saw the little lip jelly, which looked very, very nice. Um, and Jake really liked the look of the um, wax melts but no I just picked up this and um, exchanged my little tubs for the face mask um, but yeah I just picked up another snow fairy because I absolutely adore it. So I'm trying to think if I did buy anything else um, I did go into quite a lot of shops and you know when you you know it's been a few days and you're sort of putting things away um, or you've used it and you put it down somewhere. I'm just trying to think if I do have anything else that I've bought that I do want to show on this haul. Um, but I did go into Ann Summers. Um, our Ann Summers in Hereford unfortunately closed down um, and you haven't got a nice lingerie shop in Hereford. You've only really got sort of your Primark, your New Look um, and your m and and Next and things like that. So I of course went into um, Ann Summers. I did go into Victoria's Secret and Boot Avenue. Um, Victoria's Secret I'm very a bit meh about now, it doesn't really excite me. Um, 
Jake didn't like any of the lingerie either. I did go into Boot Avenue and I did like a lot of the stuff in there, but they didn't have my size. Um, so I'm definitely just going to have a look online to buy some bits from there. But Ann Summers um, had a very big sale on, so of course I bought a few more bits. Um, so I bought this little thong here. I do prefer to wear thongs, I just find them more comfortable. Um, so I've got this one here, this lovely purple one. Um, I just love the detail on the front, the little sort of um, flower work. And then it has this cute little gem on the front as well. Um, so this was, I think this was about seven or eight pounds in the sales. It was like 30% off. And then I got a red set. Of course, I wanted to get a cute little red set for Christmas. Um, and I'm obsessed with it. It's... Um, it's red and then it's got like pink flowers on top and they've got some sparkle in them as well and just look at this detail on the thong um you can just see it's got the little um lettuce sort of hem over the top and i love that they do the little sort of like um strap work at the back as it's very bondage but yeah i'm obsessed with these you can just see how the pink is sort of shimmering there oh they're so so pretty and then I got the um, matching sort of bra with it. I haven't actually worn one of these bras before um, just because I've you know I've got a, a smaller chest but I've got um, broad shoulders and a, I think I've got quite a big back um, and I do struggle to find bras that fit me nicely. Um, I do usually have to adjust the straps to make sure that they fit as not everybody that has a, a slightly smaller chest has a small petite frame as well. Um, I do feel like I am quite broad um, and this is very very nice. It does fit very nicely. I have had to adjust the straps and this is just gorgeous. It's so, so nice. I'm so happy that I went into Anselmas and I picked it up. Um, I think that my total spend was about £40. Um, so £40 for a really nice bra and two pants is is really, really good. Um, as it would have been much more expensive in like Boo Avenue or um, Victoria's Secret where they didn't really have a sale on. But yeah, I'm absolutely gutted that Anne Summers has gone um, from Hereford. As I, that was my lingerie shop. I loved it in there. Um, so yeah. Can't wait to wear this um, around Christmas. So there you go guys, um, that was my little Birmingham shopping haul. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you on my next one. Bye! <laughs>